Liquidity planning is easy with SAP Analytics Cloud. The integration of the SAP Analytics Cloud with SAP S4 HANA and SAP S4 HANA Cloud enables cash managers to get actual and forecasted cash flow figures and use them as reference data for developing liquidity plans. The approval process enables group cash managers to work seamlessly with subsidiary cash managers to develop a centralized plan for the entire company group. Let me show you how it works. Today, Sylvia, the group cash manager, wants to trigger a new cycle of liquidity planning for Q3 with detailed plans for each month. She opens the story she's been working with. To trigger the process, she needs to send an input form to her subsidiary cash managers. There's a template available to her, structured by currency, company codes, and liquidity item hierarchies. And data from the business system is also available for reference, including actual data, forecasted data, and last year data. Sylvia selects the current version and goes into version management. She creates a new private version by copying from the plan version. The new private version is for subsidiary cash managers to provide their inputs. She can examine subsidiary inputs and later consolidate them into the final official plan. Next, she goes to the Summary tab to check the settings for the input task. The private plan version is automatically loaded, and the two subsidiary cash managers are selected as assignees. All set. Sylvia selects Send, and the process is triggered. Morgan and Nelly, the two subsidiary cash managers, get email notifications that their plan is awaiting input. Morgan clicks the notification and is navigated to the input form for the company code for which he's responsible. He can see a liquidity hierarchy with liquidity items representing the sources and use of cash. And he can see columns for subsidiary input. Morgan checks over the reference data and decides that he can reuse the forecast data with only a little bit of modification. He copies the top-level cell of the forecast data and pastes it to the corresponding cell in the input column. This way, the data for the entire hierarchy is pasted into his plan. He then goes and manually modifies a figure, and then proceeds to the next currency. While he's carrying out this process, he can always check the data history, and he can always roll back to a previous version if he feels he's made a mistake. Now, Morgan's filled out the plan data for the three months. The monthly data is automatically aggregated to the quarter plan. Done. Morgan goes to the Summary tab and submits his plan. Another subsidiary cash manager, Nelly, receives the same notification. She checks the reference data and decides to copy the quarter forecast to the quarter plan. She selects the entire column and pastes the data in one go. And there. The quarter plan is updated. Meanwhile, the system automatically distributes the quarter plan amounts over the three months. Now Nelly can modify the plan figures as necessary and finalize her plan. When she's finished, Nelly submits her plan for a review. Sylvia, the group cash manager, now receives the notifications that both subsidiaries have submitted their plans. So she opens the task. She can see the data entered by both subsidiary cash managers in a single form. Sylvia examines the inputs from the subsidiaries, and it sees that everything looks good except one figure in Morgan's plan doesn't seem quite right. Sylvia opens the discussion from the Summary tab. The discussion that she opens has a reference to the task. She enters her comments.
and then goes back to the Summary tab. Sylvia approves Nellie's plan and rejects Morgan's for right now. In the meantime, Morgan receives the notification that his plan was rejected. He checks the comments from the group cash manager and modifies the figure. and then resubmits his plan. Sylvia, the group cash manager, receives Morgan's updated plan. She runs a final check and approves the plan. Now she can consolidate the inputs from the subsidiaries to her master plan for the group. So she opens the story, copies the inputs from the subsidiaries into her plan version, And done. She can now go to the final report tab to check the overall liquidity plan for companies in the group. In addition to the plan currency, Sylvia can also view the figures in a unified display currency. To have a visual understanding of the figures, Sylvia can also check the comparison chart. With various dimensions and filters, she can gain more insight about the liquidity trends of the entire company group. So that's it. Now you can have a try and see how the integration of SAP Cloud Analytics and SAP S4HANA and SAP S4HANA Cloud can help you with your liquidity planning.